All right, welcome to the episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be rendering out some contacts. So based on the previous episode where we had kind of like a basic layout, in this episode, we're going to implement like rendering it out as different individual contacts in our grid system. Uh, so let's take a look over here at the code. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, remove all this code here. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave it there first. But what I'm going to do now is declare a new constant. So it's the ONST contact. And basically, this is going to represent the individual um, contact for our uh, you know, for our code for, for this over here. So what I'm going to do is a div, uh, and then I'm going to do the class name, uh, pure u1-3, just like that. And then in here, what I'm going to do is implement the, the contact information. So for example, h2, uh, Zach, Siri, and then h2. And then here, we're going to use a p tag, and I'm going to add my email. All right, so what we can do now is we can actually use this um, to render out our component uh, over here. So instead of using this uh, three times, we're just gonna do something like this, it's contact, just like that. Um, so now what I can actually do is, um, hang on, why is it, all right, it's gone. So, uh, so what I can do now is if I head over to the browser, uh, into my development browser over here and I do a reload, you see that it's rendering out uh, my contact information over here. Uh, and if I do it three times, so if I copy and paste three times, uh, it's basically going to give me three contact boxes. Now I know it looks very basic and plain, that's because we're using a pure CSS and I haven't added any styling to here. Um, but we will work on cleaning all this up. But I just want to point something out to you guys over here, uh, which is basically, you know, let, let's like the next step we're going to do is now we understand rendering of nesting of components. So we have um, basically we have another component here, which is defined with a constant. And in here, we're rendering out this uh, constant component over here. So um, in React, you don't always need to do the class, uh, you know, extends React component if you have a constant over here. Uh, you can nest it inside of a, a component. And like, when do you need to use, uh, you know, a class and when do you need to use a constant to define your components? Well, that really depends on how complicated your um, component is. I mean, if you want it just like a basic uh, component where it doesn't have a lot of functions, it'll have a lot of options, you can use constants. It's quicker, it's faster to, to render and all that stuff. Um, so, you know, th that'll be really up to... Um, you know, as a developer, you have to make that decision. But we'll get into that a little bit later down the line once we understand all this stuff a little bit better. All right, so the next thing I want to do in this episode here is I want to introduce a data set. So for example, here we have a constant uh, data. I'm going to have an array. So I'm going to do multi-line like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to implement some test data. So here I'm going to have name, uh, Zach, Siri, and then uh, basically email. And then here it's going to be that at Codemy. Um, and I'm going to implement uh, two more people in here. Uh, I'm going to do a comma. And then here I'm going to do a name. Uh, Savika. Email. Uh, Example.com. And then I'm going to do another one here. Chad email and then uh, chad at example.com. Um, all right, so now we have three people in here. Um, so let's see why this is erroring. It's giving us this uh, it's unused vars, which is okay. We're going to use that very soon. Um, here I'm just going to add a trailing comma so that it doesn't complain. Um, add a space here. All right, so that should be okay. Um, yeah, so there you go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna render this out uh, here instead of having you know a duplicate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass the name and the email. So when we render out the three contacts, it's gonna use a different name and email based on this data set over here. So how do we do that? Very simple. Um, what I'm gonna do here is gonna do data dot map, and then here <clears throat> what I'm gonna get is when I do a map. Um, I'm going to get a, um, 
I'm going to basically get a, uh, a, a contact. So let's say info. So this info here is going to represent um, our, um, you know, this each individual object over here. Uh, so what we can do is do a contact in here. And then basically we can do something like this. We can pass in the name equals info.name and then the email equals uh, info.email. So what we have here is uh, what's called a prop uh, in our um, in, in, in React. And the way we access that is if we change this over here to a props, uh, we can actually use it in our uh, component over here. So props dot name. And then here it's going to be props dot email, just like that. Uh, so basically, uh, if you understand correctly, what's going on here is we're taking a array of uh, objects over here, and then basically we're running a map uh, on it. And then when we're mapping it, we're getting an individual object, which is represented by info over here. And then we're passing the info.name into uh, you know the, the prop for the this component here. So if I go back over here into the browser and I do a reload, we should see three contacts being rendered correctly. Um, another thing we can do is um, we can clean this up a little bit. Uh, so what we can do is we can um, use a splat operator. Uh, so I can remove all of this stuff and then essentially uh, do a dot, 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 and then basically we should get the exact same results, or not. Ah, okay, we don't need info.name, just need to remove that. And then basically the splat operator will take care of all the rest for us. All right, so if I head back into here to a render, we should get the same result again. Great. Um, so that's, uh, that's, you know, the very basics of React for you guys. Uh, you know, we took a look at, um, you know, creating another component using constants. And then basically we, um, you know, we rendered the, the const, the, another component inside of another component. So we nested a component. And then what we did was uh, we created an array of data set. And then basically we looped through, we used a map function over here. And we pass the, you know, the info from the data object of the data array over here uh, into the contact. And we pass it in as a prop that we can then use inside of our component here. So props.name, props.email, it's all coming from the info over here. So we covered quite a lot of the basic uh, of React in this episode. Um, and so if you guys found this useful, don't forget to like, share, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, also check out our website. We have a, a speci special member uh, you know, area where you can pay $9 a month and support our channel. And uh, what that will also do is uh, you will also get access to member exclusive content. And we have more uh, member exclusive content coming up, especially on React episodes. So if you enjoy the episode that you just watched, um, you know, become a member and, and that'll support us to make more video for you guys. With that, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next one.